Welcome back to Smart Family. It's National Pretzel Day, and one of my favorite things in the whole wide world is to eat soft dough pretzels. So I had to learn how to make them in order to satisfy my cravings because it's all the time. Mm -hmm. And Connie is going to add a little bit of her Connieism to it to so why the two of us can make some fabulously delicious pretzels. I'm actually going to move these out of the way right now because I'm oh. going to show them to you when we're done. Okay, right? the big reveal. Okay, yeah. so. Uh, let me start with how we make the dough first, right? Yes, because Daphne and I were talking about foods we love, and she mm -hmm. said she loves pretzels, which I do as well, and she said she had a great recipe for them, so I said share it with everybody. <laughs> Not only that, but Connie somehow managed to get a pretzel from Philly delivered to me, <laughs> I did. and I fell in love with her because that of it. That was Donya Shulman that brought right. that back That was for very you. sweet. That was yeah. very sweet. So I've got a recipe, and I decided to share it with you in celebration of National Pretzel Day. So I'm going to quickly just describe how I make the dough for the sake of time, because I already have it made, but basically, it's one tablespoon of yeast, one one cup of warm water. You let it sit for about five minutes until it's foamy. Then you add four tablespoons of brown sugar into your nice little, you know, KitchenAid mix or any type of mixer because it's really hard to mix the dough. Brown sugar. Ooh. Yeah, brown sugar. Okay. Uh huh. And okay. then you pour in three and a half cups of flour. Now, of course, that takes a process. Then you want to wait till it's nice and kind of in a bowl. Mm -hmm. um, your dough looking. Mm -hmm. Then you want to stick it covered in a warm place for about 45 minutes till the dough rises and almost doubles in size. So here is our dough. Beautiful. See that? Look at that. It's beautiful. So it's yes. nice and exactly the consistency that you need it to be. Now, one of the things I want to show this, because you know yesterday we had the pretzel makers on. Yes. On because and they're they, giving away free soft dough pretzels today. And then we had people ask us, how right. do you, how how do you, do you roll? Right. How do you twist them? The twist. Yes. So all you do is once the dough is all done, you want to roll it. Now you want to clean your countertop, which I have, mm -hmm. and you roll it out, your dough. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now watch closely. You ready? Mm -hmm. So you take your pretzel and then you twist it. See this? How you mm -hmm. twist it around, you flip it, and then you pinch the ends, and then there you go. Voila. There's your pretzel, right? Beautiful. Okay. So, but Connie's going to take over. She's going right, to show what she does. let's put that on here so that we have it. With hers. So, so sometimes for kids, I like to make a little bit more of a meal out of it. That's a great snack. It's beautiful for after school, but for um, a little meal, a grab and go, I kind of stuff them. So you want to do one of these? Oh, sure. Okay, so stuff some cheese. Okay. What kind of cheese do you have here? This is just a little mozzarella. Mm -hmm. And I don't do too much because you're going to stuff and then you got to roll, you know, so okay. you do too much and then you're in trouble. So we're going to roll these. Yeah, so you're just going to roll them into big long yes. rolls here. Okay, like it. I'm going to move this over here. Yeah, and if you had a, um, a rolling pin to make that first little one flat, that's the easiest and best way to do that. Yeah, but you know what? When you roll with your um, hands, yeah. you see you get muscles in your hands. <laughs> you do. <laughs> so now they're stuffed, little sausages almost. Right. So we'll roll and then you're just going to kind of roll it and squeeze it out. Now okay. mine's a little too short. I probably need to roll mine a little okay. more too. But anyway, so you get it to where it's kind of long and skinny here, and then it's stuffed with, we put um, pepperoni, cheese, pepperoni and cheese in here. Mm -hmm. You could put sausage, you could do veggies, whatever you want to put inside yours. Okay, so we make our mm -hmm. pretzel, shape it that way. You got to do your little twist. Yeah. Oh, good shot, good shot. They got a good shot of you twisting the pretzel there. Twist it. Good. Now, here is the secret. Yes. Um, you want to get six cups of boiling water, preferably cast iron, okay? okay. And you want to put two tablespoons of baking soda. Put your pretzels uncooked in there for about 15 seconds. I mm -hmm. have the spatula. There we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. About 15 seconds. It's for like, you want it at a low boil. Let's put this little guy in there. Okay, too. we'll get that little guy in there. Okay. And then we'll set this on our little pan. Once it starts to float, then you know that it's time for it to right. come out. So what it's doing, it's almost kind of sealing the dough. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, now one other thing. That's the big secret to making pretzels Pretzels versus like just regular dough. Yeah. And then one last thing you got to do. Hold on, Connie. We got to put some egg A little bit of on egg there. white so on I, there. I cracked an egg, yep. whipped it up, mm -hmm. and then we're going to put thing. it on here real yeah. quick. Oops. Pretty. Like that. Yeah. And then we have to put some salt. Can I hand this to you and have yeah. you put some salt on there? Okay. Is this a grinder? Yeah, the other way. And then, and actually, you can put different flavors of salt. Did you notice I put, um, what kind of salt is that? That's not your regular salt. It's like a little pink salt. Pink salt Himalayan crystals. Himalayan pink yes. crystals. So once you're done basting it with eggs. How long does it go in the oven? You stick it in the oven for 12, 10 to 12 minutes until it's brown on top. Okay. And we'll go ahead and stick these in here. But guess what? It didn't take long, actually, for no, those. No, not we at just all. baked these. The ones. dough is really the, the tough process. And here yeah. is our final Ta -da. product. Look at that. Let's so these that are our... Way. Stuffed homemade soft dough pretzels with pepperoni and a little bit it. of mozzarella cheese. Try half. Oh. Now the other thing is you can also, if you want to, just get a little jar of um, pizza sauce mm -hmm. and then you can dip it in the sauce. Mm. Yeah. So 
How's I can't it taste? talk because my mouth is full of pretzels, but they're Good absolutely stuff. delicious. Yeah, they're nice but and soft. <laughs> we've linked the information in the details of how you can make your soft dough pretzels with pepperoni and mozzarella. Mm. But have fun with it. It's a fun Yummy. recipe. But remember, the secret is the baking soda and boiling water. Okay. So just go to abc15.com. You'll find us in the lifestyle section at the top of the page. These are really good. I know. I'm going to try and talk.